Hello. Guys, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. How you been? I saw you guys. Uh, but guess what? Guess what? Let me introduce my panel real quick. Cisco Mafia, Anthony in the house. Graham from the Gira Nice Watch. Hello. And Fabio from Ford. And yes, Fabio is late as always. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go to the meet, man, because this was just announced. We got Costa Rica. Holy. Well, it's actually 11.39, so we can curse. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fabio, talk to me, man. What just happened? Well, apparently, this thing, and she looks insane. Oh, man. I want to kiss her, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> that, that good. That good. <laughs> no, she looks awesome. She looks really good. Holy moly guacamole. Mm. Graham, I see you, I see your face, man. You're like super excited when you saw this. <laughs> this is the figure I never knew I needed. Um, so, <laughs> caught, caught off guard, but like, geez, I was in love when I saw her at you know first sight. So I thought I just needed Bo Katan, but then you see her next to Bo Katan and <laughs> she almost steals the spotlight. Holy moly, man. I'm telling you, it, it was funny because as soon as we finished the Between Collectors show, guys. We were backstage talking, you know, like we usually that's what we do after streams. And, and I literally checked the Facebook. Oh shoot, Costco Reeves is out. And then Anthony checks Facebook. Oh shoot, Axe Wolves is out. I'm like, wait, what? And you wanted to go to bed. <laughs> Come on. And I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to go to bed. Can you <laughs> imagine? Crazy, you missed out. Second time. Anthony, come on. Talk to me, man. You're quiet. What's going on? Uh, well, I was letting introductions go. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Fuck. Like. She looks fucking great, man. I mean, look at the sculpt. I mean, we already kind of seen it before a little, right? But like, this is like, this is phenomenal. They're, 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 this, this past year, Hot Toys is, has been absolutely killing these head sculpts. And, and the hair. in particular, the hair, yeah, in particular, their sculpted hair has been freaking phenomenal, dude. Uh, with Loki and Sylvie and uh, a couple other announcements that we've seen thus far. I was like, wow, man, like they, they kudos to whoever's doing the hair and kudos again because they're that really that makes a figure you know what i'm saying that makes you look at that man that is this isn't even like product Perfection. photography Perfection. you know these aren't like blogger shots this is a this is you know for lack of a better phrase just a generic photo that they're putting up right now and this looks phenomenal I'm, you know, I'm very surprised and and happy to see this. Um, you know, it, it is funny because you know, th just the head sculpt looks amazing, man. Let's we're gonna dive in in more detail in a, in a few minutes, guys. So don't worry. We're just kind of like flash into the pictures because this is literally the first time we've seen this. Yeah, we're actually so, looking at it right now. We didn't even really look at it. You know, <laughs> weathering is really good. I mean, the head sculpt is perfection and no brainer. Hatter did a really good job with Boba Fett. Definitely, they're gonna improve Bokatan. I can tell you that right now. A hundred percent, they're gonna improve Bokatan Hescope. This one here looks amazing. It's pretty much what they did with Fennec. They are improving themselves, and this is really good proof of it. I mean, Graham, come on, you, man! Look you at can that. see the you can see the pores in her face. Like, <laughs> I mean, I know this is just prototype photos, but like, geez, like, and then you guys talked about the hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like all the detail and all the braids, even it's just it's something we really have just started to see lately with Hot Toys. So it, it just blows me away. Um, paint application, like it just looks like a photo. Like it, yeah, she they looks nailed great. it. They nailed it. Phenomenal. They, I don't know about did. the hair, only because like, so is that no. affixed on the forehead? The forehead looks a little like you know what I'm saying. It's messing like, with my move? depth a little bit, but. Yeah, you can see the pores. You can see there's some imperfections in the forehead as well. I mean, I mean this this picture here's a money shot, man. Look at the color scheme. It's just, it's awesome. Like that that yeah, blue. It's hue. missing one other person though, which we're gonna go over in just a second. But I want to give a huge shout no, out no. to my friend, Akara Dune, Ares. I know. Never. Yeah, 
I want to give a shout out to Eris from Cisco Cantina because yes, he called it. He was the one who called. He's been talking about Costco Reeves, Axel Wolves for a long time. So kudos to him because he again, the wizard, the wizard was right. <laughs> the wizard. The wizard. <laughs> Combat Evolve. Yo, what's up, Combat? Dario Dario Rivera. Funny how I'm rewatching the earlier stream. And you guys pop up and discuss the Mando announcement. Yes, man. This is something that was unexpected. Uh, we were again, we were talking backstage. I was about to get my milk to go to bed. And this <laughs> and these guys pretty much told me, no, let's go check. And then we check Facebook. Boom. Announcement. Let's go live totally again. From too. And I'm eating my nuggets. Yeah. Because <laughs> somehow I let them get cold. Dude, I don't know how I was able to do this freaking thumbnail and set him all this up in like two minutes while we were talking. But anyway, that's a different discussion. Let's talk about this beauty here. Uh, armor. The thoughts about the armor. I think it does look good. Helmet looks nice. The weathering looks amazing. Obviously, no brainer. Hatos always does a good job with these double helmets. You can see X walls behind her. Again, no brainer. We're going to talk about him later. Any thoughts, guys, about this? Uh, the outfit? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Again, just the color scheme, like the blue with the brown, the weathering that's gone into it. Like Hot Toys just never skimps on the weathering detail for the most part, unless you're the back of Iron Man 85. But <laughs> this, I don't know, like, I, again, I just, I didn't think, I thought Bo-Katan would be it for me, but like, you just see all these three together and got to get it. Look, you pair all these three together. And That's a pair of Death Watch Mandos on the flank. That's going to look like really, really nice. I mean, you got to think, is this character going to get bigger, you know, in don't season care. three? You know, and then, <laughs> and some people don't care. But, like, I think that's, too, just going to add to the lore of this figure. <clears throat> well, yeah, the more the more the figures on the show, the more the more valuable is going to be. It'll right. Make, sure. You know, it'll make people want it more just because it's that much more relevant on the show. But even so, if I never see this figure on the show ever again, I'm getting it. It's amazing. And having all four with those blues, with the Death Watch Mando blues, oh, forget it. Yeah, and actually, guys, I put a question in the on the chat. It's a poll. So I just want to see if you guys were going to love it or hate it, this figure. Then we're going to do the same with Axe Wolves, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I mean... You know, even this bucket looks actually much better than the actual. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's the same, man. Mean? Your eyes are just playing tricks yeah. on you. It's playing uh, tricks. Still playing me tricks. Okay. But it still looks good, though. It's decent. It's decent. It's just, a, I guess, the profile, right? If it's maybe, you know, straight, it's different, right? But, man, this Costco really looks really good, man. I, I just can't, uh, it's, you know, I mean, it's just the likeness level. is really good. It's really good. I really, you know, here's the thing. I really like the sculpt. And, yep. and what I mean by that, I guess I should be a little more specific. I like the expression of the sculpt. Okay. Because a lot of times, you know, Hot Toys has that dead stare. We all know what I'm yep. talking about. Mm -hmm. This this is kind of a stare, but this looks really stern and somewhat angry. You, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like just a neutral dead stare. I think she looks phenomenal. Absolutely picking this up. There's no doubt in my mind. So I guess the question is, was it worth the wait? Well, the wait begins now. <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> but 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 we were waiting to see officially announced, right? We oh, were yeah, speculating we about were, yeah. it. We saw some, uh, you know, prototypes, no Hescope, and obviously they were working on the license, probably the likeness and all those things. But man, I'm telling you, this figure looks amazing. I think Hatos did a really good job on this one. Again, it's a prototype. Obviously, we need to wait until 2029 to get the <laughs> figure released. Uh, but I mean, of course, I mean, you can see the details. Of course, we're going to have someone who's going to say, oh, it doesn't look like her. It looks like someone else, obviously. I mean, I'm I'm very happy with this. I cannot say anything negative on this one, to be honest with you. The only thing I could, like, just looking at the prototype, the only thing that throws me off, and Anthony was maybe talking about it, was... Look who we got. The Sorry, braids uh, on Graham. the forehead. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? What's up, my brother? What's, What's up, up, my friend? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Best Squad Kids sent me the link, and I saw this, and my eyes popped out of my head. We got a one <laughs> We got a one-six Sasha Banks. 
She deserves it. I hate when <laughs> WWE fans do that. But anyway, <laughs> continue. Uh, yeah, Grant, continue your point. Sorry. Now, the only thing, if I had to nitpick one thing, is maybe the if I if I focus on it, the braids over the forehead. They just, I don't know, they look a little off. But I mean, it doesn't take anything away from the figure. This thing is a ten out of ten. That's there's nothing wrong with it, at least from the prototype. I want to hear the space pip himself. I want to <laughs> hear my boy Jay. What what's going on, man? Like this Bokatan, I'm sorry, Costco Reeves game. We know that because Ares was talking about this nonstop every stream. He <laughs> always get it right because he has the wizard of his wizard. eyes. Yes, he does. So, talk to me, man. What's going on with this one? Do you, what, what, this is good. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. This is what we get out of the box. First, I want to say I'm a big wrestling fan and a big Sasha Banks fan. I, I, I think she's one of the biggest superstars in WWE right now. So to have, you know, and then her, to have her crossover in the Star Wars world has just been epic. Um, and the likeness on this, yes, I think they got it right. I definitely think they got it right. In some angles, it does look, the paint looks a little weird. Um, I will say this, and in some angles, it looks completely better. But I mean, that's like with most hot toys. Um, right there, I think that, like, when I first saw that shot, I was like, uh, I'm not sure. But then I looked at it right there, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's. So you were like, uh, that's, oh, shit. Uh, right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the right braid. Came uh, in. I'm sorry. sorry but, yeah, no, the I braid. was just saying, right before you came in, I was saying uh, your opinion on it, the sculpt, right? It's not like a dead stare. She has that almost angry kind of look. Should it look? It's, it's dope, dude. How's it? Yeah. Um, Anthony, yeah. can you send? Can you send? <laughs> Anthony, can you send the stream your link to KG? KG Shamala is he on set right now though, or what? He's filming. He's filming a new movie. He, you know, he probably stepped off the set and was like, "Look, cut." <laughs> I got to yeah, talk. We're gonna, we're gonna have a madness night tonight, so we, we're pretty oh, much if we're having everyone. a madness night. Yeah. This I is... might be sending this link out. You send it to oh let me see. um can you share the link to me because I need to send it to EC as well. I don't know if he can join. It's it's kind of yeah. late for him, but we can just actually do that. Yeah. Uh hold on. Sorry guys, we, we just came yeah. like an impromptu <laughs> live stream, as you can see. I um what everybody thinks about the fact that Axe Wolves doesn't have a head sculpt. That's like disrespectful. Anthony, send it to my personal text. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little surprised they even gave us the Casca Co Reeves head sculpt. I thought maybe with the screen time she had that we would just get the full armor. Yeah, I think because she is Sasha Banks, and I think WWE fans would have like been super pissed off. If they <laughs> <laughs> so, KG, KG just woke up. <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. Yeah, I, I have to go to on stuff later on today, so just let you guys know. <laughs> no, yeah, I had to come on because I just I gotta talk about this. This is um, wow, this is a surprise. I love when Hot Toys does this with the surprises, man. This is uh, yeah, uh, I was expecting Doc Ock tonight, but you know, this is good too. This is a good announcement. This is definitely a, a late one for sure. This is a definitely a huge. It's weird because you know Hot Toys they they do announce things late. Well, you know, with the Green Goblin, and this one is super late. This is delayed and then with the axe wolves that one i was really surprised on the axe wolves for them to announce because i was like this i could see Costa reeves being announced first like i could see that being like an actual thing being announced but i just didn't expect axe wolves and the fact that that i mean i don't know if we're going to get into it later on but that i i love everything mandalorian so this is definitely a must have these two are i just love them i love them uh the head sculpt is just it's pitch. It's 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 almost there. It's perfect. It's better than it's better than the uh, Bocatan for sure. The Bocatan was, I don't know what the hell that was, but this one is yeah. I just love it. I love everything Mandalorian related, and I just love the blue, the hint of blue, the dark blue is just yeah. Yeah. It's good. Contra, uh, Fabio, I, you you were away for a few minutes. Man, this is insane, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait. I need my two of them asap. Yeah. When do you think this is going to be released? 
Tomorrow. No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Could you imagine? Think about this, though. Now think about this. Now we just got two Star Wars announcements right away tonight. What do you guys think is next? Is it going to be Marvel? Uh, it's going to be Doc Ock. It's going to be oh, Doc yeah, Ock. But yeah, you know. yeah. yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we have here. So how many accessories this figure comes with? Hold on, let me see. It's not bad. Um, I think she comes with a backdrop. She comes with, I think... Okay, so we have the flame effect, right? We have yeah. the jetpack. We have the helmet. The beautiful Haskell. I still believe this is one of the solid Haskells I've seen. Yeah. I mean, Hatos keep improving themselves, man. I'm telling you, these guys keep nailing it. <laughs> yeah, they're learning a lesson with Tony Stank and Ant-Man, so... They gotta keep up with they gotta keep up with prime woman prime one and all the statues oh, and yeah. and yeah. everybody so yeah, you know, yeah. for sure yeah, yeah the yeah. back only that you see the backdrop is is okay because I don't think many people use this you know mm -hmm. um but I'm happy with that other than that I think everything that this video comes with is pretty good um Hescope yeah. is really nice the tailoring looks decent you know the the weathering on the on the on the armor I agree with Graham the color that they use is just really nice. This yeah. this is a beautiful color for this figure. Yes. You know, and it's in line yeah. with the Death Watch, in line with the Axe Wolves and Bokatan. It's kind of in line, the color. It's not too cheesy, but I think it's perfect, you know? Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, too, I think I saw prior to this announcement, I saw somebody posting on Sideshow that these two were taken down. Um, oh, and Lou. Interesting. Oh, oh, Lou. Lou, Lou. What's up? Sorry, KG. No, no, no. Uh, it's just that, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, at first it's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're taking it out because it's not going to happen. Then I, you know, I went on Facebook and I'm like, oh, well, that just happened. Um, but yeah, this is this is definitely a surprise, but a welcome one for sure. Local Lou, what's up, my friend? What's up, family? How's everybody doing? What's up? Chilling. We I'm are. Good. We were supposed to finish our live stream like. An hour ago, <laughs> but we were talking, and then we saw this thing coming, and we were like, "Holy crap! Let's do another live stream." All right, let's do it. So we just did oh. this, all this impromptu. So whatever happens, happens. You know, what are your thoughts about this, man? What was your what was your first impression or reaction about this thing? Mommy needs to come home to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy needs to come home to daddy because um, I'm a big uh, a wrestling fan back in the day. And the only thing I like to watch is like the women's wrestling now, because you know, they 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 do their thing. And uh, <laughs> Sasha Banks is my favorite. <laughs> Sasha Banks is mommy to me, and um, to see her with that, you know, like aggressiveness, I'm like, I'm gonna show you, Daddy. Come 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 to Daddy. <laughs> yes, yes. Bring it. Just. Mm. Dude, look at this. Hassle, instant buy. Instant buy. That's an yeah. instant buy for me. <clears throat> So we have another guest here, Moss Toy Boss. Yay. What's up, my friend? Hey, welcome. Your first time, first time in the channel. So welcome. Thank you. We have a small party over here. We have the Costco Reese <laughs> party. <laughs> you know, what, what, what are your thoughts about this uh, uh, new announcement, my friend? Man, I'm I'm stoked, man. The only thing we're missing now is Cobb Vance. That, that's the only thing I'm missing, mm -hmm. yeah. and I can that's die right. happy. That's right. Um, I can hear I can hear a bit far away, so I don't know if oh, you're. It? Yeah, you're real quiet, Moss. Hold on, man. This is. I gotta turn this up. That's what it is. That's better. Sorry. Right. How's that? Perfect. Bye, bye, Perfect. Bye. Perfect. All right. All right. So yeah, uh, the only thing we're missing here is Cobb Vanth, man. We get Cobb Vanth, and I, I could die happy. And I am a little disappointed we didn't get Axe Reeves, uh, uh, Axe Wolves, uh, head sculpt though. I'm hoping yeah. they'll they'll come and rectify that. But yeah, it's kind of to be it's, honest, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> right? No, no, but yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about him, anyways. But no, no. But the point is that they did they did with um with Mysterio. Remember, they didn't show the Hesco on the like when it was yeah. released, pretty much. Right. So that's a possibility that we can see that. You know, he was great list today on sideshow. Way this is show. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I procured mine. I can wait for those posts on, on, on those uh, uh, Facebook groups. Oh, I want to get uh, close to retail. <laughs> hey, look, this is like a, a, a great January miracle, man. And there's like 85 people in here, man. We should all 
Hit that like yeah, button. Man. Hit the like we're button. Two Ooh, awesome yeah, figures we're, tonight. We're, we're all awesome. here. Yeah. Yes. You know, awesome. impromptu live stream, like really we start posting stuff out of nowhere because <laughs> this came out of nowhere. Yeah. I think you need to keep reversing the page. I don't think they're done. I think we're going to get uh, oh. Doc tonight, man. I think so, too. Oof. Yeah. I mean, they have done this multiple times. I mean, remember when, uh, what was it, the summer uh, Comic-Con, they announced six figures in one night. So it could possibly happen. Yeah. True. Django oh, Fett comes tonight. Was released. Django Fett come tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's manifesting. I need that Django. I'm manifesting Django right now. Yeah, Ahsoka was she looks released. phenomenal. She looks good. We got Ahsoka, guys. Let me flash it. Just release Ahsoka. Sasha is doing the wait. Sasha is doing the review already. These guys, I don't sleep. Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm telling you, this this Costco Reeves amazing. As I said before, I mean. Pretty yeah. much everything that this figure comes with, I'm happy with it. Helmet looks nice. She looks beautiful as always. Um, tailoring looks sick. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with this, you know. I'm, I'm going to repeat myself yeah. again, but I'm very happy with this uh, um, announcement. But then we have yeah. another announcement as well. Mm -hmm. And like pretty much everyone was expecting as well, but we don't have no head school, but who cares for now? <laughs> Axe Wolves. Who wants to go first? Oh, uh, I guess I will. I'll be. I'll keep it brief, man. I think he, minus a head sculpt, dude. He, he looks. He looks pretty menacing. Uh, I mean, it looks like like that picture. That, I mean, he looks. He looks tough, man. He looks awesome. He looks it's, awesome. He's. They're all gonna look great together. It's crazy how they were able to give you a second Death Watch Mandalorian and making it better. Yeah. yeah. It's right. It's That's what I was gonna say too. On this one, and it doesn't look like his holster is tied around his uh, his thigh uh, from the other angles. I mean, it could be, but I'm hoping it's not. Well, uh, the holster fat. might just be something that slides on the belt, like you know the other figures, maybe. Yeah. Could you imagine if we would have done a, a segment, dear Howard Chan, talking about Costco Reeves and Axe Wolves, and this comes right away? <laughs> I would have definitely like do another like freaking <laughs> yeah, Howard Chan because he definitely listened to us. Uh, but again, I have to give a shout out to uh, Aries because he called this thing and he was he's yeah. been talking about this nonstop. And the wizard is always <laughs> right, I guess. But I want to give a shout out to Aaron Logan with the four ninety nine super chat. I have to work tomorrow, but darn you guys, sorry man. <laughs> Me too. I have to work in the freaking city. It's like midnight right now. I have to wake up at six, so I'm gonna sleep only six hours, and I'm hungry, so I want to eat something. Yeah. Yep. So, I don't know, but yeah. whatever. It is what it is. It's just one time, man. Come on. We're still, we're still young. <laughs> Are we? Some of us. <laughs> Who sleeps anymore? I know I don't. Nobody yeah. sleeps anymore, man. Yeah. Nobody sleeps anymore. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in order in the panel so everyone can going to talk about this. Graham, thoughts about this Axe Wolves. Another figure that I didn't think I cared anything about, but he looks badass. He, you got to have all three, in my opinion. Also, I think this figure is actually going to do really well because we have so many Boba Fett fans out there. Again, this is almost like, you know, if you wanted to, you could use this as a variant of your your Boba Fett type figures. So just, again, falls in line with Mandalorian and all that other stuff. So it's going to do well, I think. Maybe the uh, Death Watch 2.0. Because yeah. <laughs> he does look like Death Watch, right? Yeah, he does. Oh, he definitely mix and match some stuff on him. That's true. That's true. Fabio, what are your thoughts about this one? Beautiful figure. Like I said, uh, it's a, they gave us a, a Death Watch 2.0, and it's even better than the first one. I didn't think it was possible, but there it is, and I can't wait to get it. Mm. Jay, you said this is a money shot or what? Definitely money shot. That's the money shot right there. You got to have all three of these all three of these and the thing of it is i do feel him not having a head sculpt i'm like damn that's disrespectful that's just about as disrespectful as uh Austin isaac's not having a, a pole figure but <laughs> but i mean like you said dante this could be a thing where they were kind of like you know they put all the work in the Sasha banks and putting that costco reeves and putting that out putting that out and then they knew that this was going to come out but they just probably still working on the head sculpt so just because we don't see it now doesn't mean we won't see it later. 
So yeah, but as a figure, as a figure right now, that blue pops, the gun metal on the on the chest piece, and the best card just looks great. He looks good. That's a damn good figure. You can't be mad at that figure at all. I kind of like the mm -hmm. Madonna thing, right? The, the the thing on top of the helmet. Yeah. Like this, yeah. Right. It, it's just sick. It reminds me like uh, like a Cobra Kai type of character. <laughs> uh, KG, what are your thoughts about this one, my friend? Oh man, uh, this was definitely a surprise one. I mean, the the like I said, the Costa Reeves one was a little bit of a surprise, but I, I kind of knew it was going to come, you know, at some point. But this one was definitely a surprise. Uh, I just ne never thought that Hot Toys would, you know, go and do it. Uh, but another thing that else surprised me: there's no head sculpt. And you know what? And that in this case, this figure will be cheap because there's no head sculpt involved. I'm I'm thinking around the Death Watch price, Death Watch Mando price, like two thirty five to two fifty. That's my guess for the figure. Um, what's the yeah. catch on this? The, what's the catch on this is we have Costco Reeves, we have bo and then we're going to have this guy, Axe Wolves. So as, as you guys mentioned, even if he doesn't have a head sculpt, you need to have those three. Jay said Yeah, you just, yeah. You, I mean, it's like the same thing with the Goblin. You have to buy the glider. If, if you can't buy the glider, just don't buy a figure. It's simple as that. If you can get the bo you have to get all three. If not, then just don't get it. You know, it's just... These three on display looks amazing. Having these three in the shop, just as your Mando display and having a couple of Death Watch Mandos behind, it's a display to you know look at. It's definitely, I mean, with, wait, uh, with Star Wars figures, like Mando, I, I don't care how, I, for me, um, I don't care about doubling on figures that look almost the same thing. Like the, this guy will have in the collection, Costa Reeves, Bo-Katan, all these guys, because I love Mando, love everything Mando related. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a figure I would get, but not something I would pre-order um, for now. Uh, but definitely, a, it's a figure that I think might be heavy matter situation. I don't think a lot of people are going to pre-order this. And then once it comes out, people are going to love it, and it's going to sell it on, on pre-order. So uh, that's my guess. That's a good guess. But I also think because look what happened. They released or announced uh, Costco Reeves, and now they did with this with Axe Wolf. So... There is a reason why they did this, right? Because they know that people are going to get crazy now. They're going to say, oh, shoot, we have all three now. Let's go. Look, Lou. Oh, it's an instant buy, man. you got to have all three. It's like the Power Rangers, man. You just can't buy one. You have to get the whole team. And here, it's a shame we don't get the head sculpt, but, you know, they could always pull a Mysterio on us and just, you know, like, surprise, yeah. you know, we got a head sculpt for you. But um, even if they don't, I agree with KG that this will be cheaper and it'll be just a, like another um, uh, Death Watch uh, Mando yeah. situation. And yeah. um, <clears throat> I'm fine either way because we only get to see him maybe once or twice without his helmet. And majority of the time we've seen, you know, Shasha Banks without her helmet. She had more screen time. Yeah. So True. I think that's part of the reason too. But. I'm gonna have to do some serious uh, job changing, man. I'm gonna have to work a pole or something, man. Because <laughs> Jesus, I, I need module cases now. I need more module cases. I'm gonna go get a third. You hear that, everybody? Go hit up local room and go make it rain on him. <laughs> <laughs> right? You, you go hit that pole, bro. We'll, we got you. We got 98 people in here. <laughs> All I gotta do is drop two singles at your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know, this is this is. I mean, I normally don't do impromptu uh, live streams, and this was one of them. And hundred people watching, come on, guys, hit the like button. And we have a, a conversation going because we have now Axe Wolves and Costco Reeves. You can go wrong with that. I'm wondering well, if uh, how many people are going to get the the robes for Costco as well. To get some custom robes for. Mm, yeah, true. Good point. Yeah. She did, she I guess. did have some robes there, didn't she? With with like Grogu or something, or. Sorry, oh, she should have the robes. Yeah, I would have loved. I don't know if you guys would have thought this would have been a two pack. Some people were mentioning in the chats, like, "Oh, two pack would have been nice if having Costco Reeves and also Axe Wolves." I don't know if that really works. What, what are you guys thoughts if they would have done a two pack on that? It would have helped Axe Wolves sales because I think he's not going to sell as well. Yeah, that's what I think too. But he looks badass, though. I kind of like yeah, the design does. of this. He does look badass. He's, so, he's going to sell 100%. Yeah, sell. I think he's going to sell just because, you know, remember, I mean, they just dropped 
Costco Reeves and then we have Bocatan. You want to have the team together. I mean, even if he doesn't have a head scope, people will say, you know what, I don't care. But if you know, if they decide, had to decide to to re reveal a head sculpt later in the game, like they did with Mysterio, even better, man. This this thing is gonna sell quicker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Fabio made a good point. It's like crazy how you could they so quickly they could turn around and make a you know basically a, a Death Watch Mando again, but even cooler. You know, yeah. in, in such in such a short period of time, like, and I know they're similar, but I mean, yeah, dude, this dude looks sick. Dude, even you you could even get a couple of them. Bro, and just kind of pepper yeah. them in with your death watch. Yeah. And They're similar and yeah. different at the same time. It's crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Somebody just mentioned in the chat that, you know, peep out the uh, Bespin Luke belt. I didn't even realize that. That just looks. So oh, good. really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bespin Luke belt. Yeah. I didn't realize he was wearing that. I think also right and uh, mentioned that. Yeah. That's the Bespin. Yep. Wow. And it comes with a cardboard backdrop. I just don't like what the main attraction. I, I'm not too I'm, fan of that. I just hate the oh. fact that they don't fit in like detolfs. They, they don't. don't. <laughs> like, what's the point? Yeah. yeah I, I just, I think they should like take twenty dollars and just remove it. Nobody's gonna use it. This is pointless. <laughs> I don't know how many cardboard backdrops I have, but I can tell you they're still all in their boxes. Yeah. 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 You know, you you can tell that we definitely don't sleep at night, uh, especially who lives in the East Coast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every, every day says, oh, my wife, I was coming to bed two minutes before the impromptu stream. She's looking for me now. <laughs> I told my wife I was guy? coming up two hours ago, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes these type of streams are the best. Like, That's you don't right. plan anything. Did you just kind of like, boom, you just go? Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I just, you know, I just have a feeling that we're going to see something else tomorrow. I think we're going to see something else tomorrow. Or oh, actually, today is what? Thursday? Oh, uh, Wednesday, sorry. I think the, I was actually talking to my stream before. I have a feeling that we might see Anakin this week before the end of the week, probably by Friday, Clone Wars. Um, or any other figure. If Ahsoka, even better. But at this point, nobody knows what's going on with Ahsoka, man. <laughs> it's very possible, man, because as we all know, with Chinese New Year coming up, production's already slowed down, and and I don't, yeah, and they don't need to do this. They don't need to do this at all. But I feel like they want to throw out announcements to be like, hey, don't forget, don't forget about us. We're hot toys. Don't forget about us because it's going to be a little bit slow, you know. So right before, I think you're right. I think we're going to get a couple more announcements. It's going to build all this hype, and then that that hype's going to carry us over until the end of the new year, and then we'll start getting our releases and stuff. You don't you don't suppose they have an automated announcement process, right? So like even while they're out of the office during New Year's, you know they just the program goes. All right, it's time to announce this thing. Yeah, yeah. post the social media form. Yeah, they can just have yeah. it a queued, you yeah, know, for time and schedule. Yeah, it's not yeah. You think so? Hey, I think I think you know it's possible. Actually, they can, you can schedule your polls on, on Facebook, yeah. so that yeah, maybe I can they can do that. stuff on Instagram and stuff. Yeah. But I'm just you me, know. like their company. <laughs> I'm sure they got something. I I wonder how many pre-orders that's supposed to drop between January into March hmm. between Star Wars, Marvel, DC. Definitely that's a few. Good question. Mm-hmm. Because I know uh, next year uh, it, it's going to suck for me. I already got six figures that's dropping at the same time. And majority of them is No Way Home stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not even done announcing all that shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I, I could see I, like I, could, <laughs> I could see Doc Ock being the next one that's announced here pretty quick. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you already teased I them. think the yeah, already teased them. So that's probably this week. I have, you know, has to be. They don't want to. I mean, they needed to do something Star Wars, you know. So they announced this. This is perfect. This is this is this is well, perfect. And could they could they be in the next episode of Book of Boba? You know, that could be. Yeah. And maybe they're just getting ahead of it here. I mean, that's a possibility yeah, that's a as well. Good, that's a good point. How about a spoiler, man? That, that kind of sucks. Hey, yeah, I don't. But I'm not sure. You know, as I was saying before, I have a feeling that they're going to tease Django Fett. They're going to have Django Fett full conversation with somebody or whatever. And then that's when we're going to see the figure dropping. I mean, they have to. They've been teasing us like the head already. 
Yeah. Yep. That will be sick. Yeah, they're timing it. I, I'm, I'm, I've been saying it for uh, for a while now, man. But I'm, I'm thinking in the next three to six weeks, Django will be out. And I would say he would have been out sooner, but because of the new year, Django will be out after New Year's, for sure. Because then the Book of Boba Fett's done. And like I said, they would have put him out earlier had it not lined up with Chinese New Year. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the Book of Boba Fett. So he's, yeah, I guarantee we're getting Django. That you know, in a month or so, he'll be he'll be on sale. Yeah, you know, to Catherine says people always complain how toys don't complete the teams. Here's your chance to get a complete team, and and yeah, they did complete the team. You know, and they also complete the team for the Justice League, <laughs> right? So that's two uh, times they completed team. Yeah, like three years <laughs> later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now them. people are expecting to. For Hato to complete the team for the villains for the No Way Home, <laughs> you know. You remember that, when they when they posted that? I don't know if you guys caught that, but when they posted Green Goblin, they had their little blurb of text there, mm-hmm. you know, that they typed, and I think the last sentence, um, you know, was something along the lines of, you know, stay tuned for our next villain. Yeah, is what they said in that sentence. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, it's Doc. I mean, they already showed the tentacles, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it's cool how they they are really trying to emphasize like villain. You know, they did the survey. Now yeah. they're talking about it. They're like, "Hey, look at us, guys. We're doing villains. Hey, we're still doing them." Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool. That's cool. It's good, good for them. Or Sandman. <laughs> or Electro throw us a curveball, give us Electro. Electro. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah, I see them doing that. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. It's gonna be the most random thing next. Yeah, it has to be. Goomba. It has to be. Go ahead. No, I said lizard. The Goomba. The lizard. You know, Fabio was talking about lizard the other day, and and he mentioned that he has a feeling that it's gonna be like Venom, with yeah. the same body type. The best, be body, the best body for that figure would be the Venom body. Yep. What? They totally could do it, but would they? Absolutely. They, they, if, they, if they got the body for it, why not? It just yeah. sounds so out there. Like, I would get it. They can actually, you know, they can actually put um, Sandman and the Lizard together, like a two pack mm-hmm. type of thing, like a base of so for Sandman and then yeah, the, Sandman the could be like a diorama. Right. right. Coming up like fists. Do, they can definitely uh, do that. A hand. So we know, the, know that Hot Toys is in the business of completing teams now, so maybe we can get our quote unquote sinister five. Mm. So. <laughs> so I was on a Toys Wonderland looking to see if they got prices up yet, just to get an idea where they're going to be at. And uh, they're not up yet, but the Boba Fett two pack on here is now seven twenty nine. Dang, I'll see seven twenty nine. And that was like five. It was like five forty-five when it came out. Yeah. You can add it to cart right now, but it's seven twenty-nine right now on their website. Yeah. But and, and Koska and Hacks aren't there, which is why I was there. Just, I was expecting them to. It's a rip off right there. I that is a rip off. Oh yeah, it is. You don't want to pay a thousand bucks after shipping? There you go. <laughs> Come on. Man. We That's already touched much. on that one. That's too much. <laughs> I got my two cases to buy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I got right? a year and a half for those. Bunch of cases, money. Yeah. All right, so we're going to close this up. So we're going to have a final thoughts. Uh, Anthony, I'm going to start with you. Final thoughts about Costco Reeves. She's so fine. Uh, I'll, I'll be picking <laughs> her up, man. She looks great, dude. She looks great. I can't wait. It's a long road, man. Like you said, now the wait begins. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if it's going to go like a full 16 months. Perhaps they'll push back. We've noticed some of the figures lately, you know, they, they have that 16 month window, but then. Some of them we've gotten within 11 months of announcement. So we'll see. We'll see how things, you know, go. And if they can taper down and we get her sooner, that'd be great. But she looks phenomenal, man. She looks phenomenal. I I thought I thought Boba was freaking sweet. Then I saw Fennec and I was like, wow, Fennec's sweet. And then I see her. I'm like, Jesus, man, these guys, they're, I don't want to fangirl over it. But right now they're just, they're nailing every release announcement that they've shown so far. Yes. They've, they've, they, yeah, they've done it. Um, Graham, final thoughts about Costco Reeves? Uh, from the prototype, this figure is as perfect as you can get. I mean, the head sculpt's there, the uh, outfit's there, the color is there, uh, the accessories are there. It looks awesome. It's an easy, easy pickup for me. Gotta get it. But yeah, like Anthony said, 
now the real wait begins because I'm guessing this is just a guess. I would hope by 2023 quarter two they would have her out, but being that they're doing a new head sculpt, who knows? That's true. Five year final thoughts. Bring her on, man. Bring her on. 2024. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait for this. Jay. Yeah, man. You know I'm getting this, man. Sasha's my girl. Costco Reeves. I'm glad they. I'm glad they did it. Um, I think this will be fast tracked. I think they're gonna probably yeah they're gonna give us a projected date of like 2023 or some shit like that. But really, I really see it being something fast track probably towards the end of this year depends on when depends on when they get the rest of them out depends on when they get a uh, boca tan out but i think we'll be seeing this most likely the end of this year uh local Lou? it's a must have it's a must have i have to have all the girls finnick her Bo, mando Luke and create that final episode from uh season two. There you go. And plus, you know, you need Dill Gideon, you know, you need Mop Gideon, you need to have that Mop Gideon. Uh, people are sleeping. Oh, you RPG. <laughs> I know, oh, so oh, where KG go? <laughs> I was, yeah. you know, I thought you were there. Like, I don't know if it's a reason. I'm like, where, where's KG no, doing? No. Shoot, he's not there. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, uh, boss, your, your, your final thoughts about Costco Reeves. Oh, uh, she's she's gonna be a day one pre-order for me. The only thing I hope they can address on her that I feel is a little lacking is, and it, it's really nice that on the Hot Toys page somebody actually put a meme of her like using the fire so you could see her in the actual show right there near the figure. Mm -hmm. Her pants aren't quite tight enough. <laughs> I, hey, hey. I, I hate to say that I'm focusing on the wrong thing, but it it, it does kind of add to the look of the character. I mean, she's got pretty much like skin tight pants. Boot it in the show. So boot it. Boot it. Probably for, probably for articulation purposes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But uh, hopefully they can work that out because it does kind of add to the just the way the character is, not just the the appeal of her, you know, as, as a female, but just just the way the character is. I mean, Bo-Katan is dressed more for comfort, where she's apparently like skin tight stuff. I don't know. Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Spread them. I want that booty. KG, what are your final thoughts about Costa Reese? Listen, this is um, a, a, a surprise, but a welcome one. Uh, I can't wait to get this figure in hand. It's going to look so great next to uh, Bo-Katan once I get her in. Um, like I said, it's a great announcement. Um, it's definitely something that was, like I said, it was a surprise one, but a welcome one. And I can't wait to have it in hand. These two, Axe Wolves and Bo-Katan and also uh, Costa Reese. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to stay with you for your also final thoughts about Axe Wolves. Yeah, Axwell's another great figure. Um, head sculpt, I really don't mind just because the majority of the times you just see them with the helmet on, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, you know, it's it's like I said, like 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 what Fabio says, it's a better version of the Death Watch Mando, and it's it's definitely a figure that look you can't get enough of Mandos. Anything bull related, Mando related, it's just it's it's something that will sell. Death Watch Mando will sell eventually, and. People are going to be look going to going to look out for it, and this is another one. It's going to be heavy Mando situation, Death Watch Mando situation, and I can't wait. It's it's a Mando, and I love everything Mando related. So, yeah. Moss. Oh, with Axe. Yes, final thoughts. It's, it's pretty much just what he said. I mean, he, he's great. I'm going to buy him because I'm going to need all of them. Uh, pretty much anybody in Mandalorian armor, I'm going to make sure I own. But uh, it is kind of a letdown. He doesn't have, have a head sculpt. But then again, if you look back on it, he had his mask off for all of like two minutes of the whole time you've seen him. So. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Luckily. What can I say that these two gentlemen haven't said already, man? You get an axe. You get an axe. You get an axe. <laughs> you guys, we all get axes. That's it. <laughs> let it rain. Right. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> Jay. <I like> tax. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting this figure, man. Um, I can't even see this figure being a sleeper because I mean it, it's so it's part of he's part of the team. So I don't think it's gonna be a sleeper. For those that do sleep on it, they're gonna be a fool and they're gonna be butthurt when it because I think this is a figure that's gonna jump up in value if it does if people do sleep on it. And I mean, why would you? This I mean the colors are dope. Like I said, the, the, everything, all the little accents on the outfit. I mean, it's a dope. Just Mandalorian, period. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, could, 
I, I could see the Death Watch Mando being, you know, like they're going to sell pretty well after this because of the Axe Wolves and Bokatan and everything. So I was literally going to just say that. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, final thoughts on this one? Yeah, no, same thing. I This is going to boost up the sales for Death, uh, uh, Death Watch 100%. So if you were not about it now, before, you're definitely about it now. Um, if you don't have it, I can guarantee you whoever doesn't have it right now is definitely going to go out and get it now. Because these two together, just let's just forget the other ones. These two alone, on a in a, in a sick pose, forget it. Mm -hmm. That shelf is gonna be insane. So, this is this is definitely gonna gonna do very very well. Yeah, do not sleep on this 100%. Uh, Ground final thoughts about Axe Wolves. Well, because we have a couple of wrestling fans in here, I'll just say yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but uh. Dude, this figure is so polished off. I'm just comparing them here to Death Watch Mando, and I would much rather have Axe Wolves right here. Like the color yeah. scheme stands out more, it's got more presence. There just seems to be a lot more to it. Um, so I do think, like uh, KG said, I think Death Watch will actually pick up a little bit because of this as well. So, yeah, don't sleep on it. It's it looks like a, a solid figure, and you got to have all three, yeah. Anthony, you have the final word, man. Taco. Like, what? Be gone. <laughs> final word. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. 100%. All right, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody on this panel has already said, I think, everything that I was going to say about it. I mean, he's he looks great. He looks beefy. Um as Jedi Knight, you know, just said as well, like there, there's more, it seems there's more detail, more polish in this than the Death Watch. I mean, I, ha I have the Death Watch, you know, and, and, and it's a great figure, um, but he looks, they gave him a little more oomph, you know, with the weathering. I think that color's a little brighter. Saw a lot of little chips and everything on him and the way the helmet looks with the different, uh, you know, the different designs. That I mean, he looks, dude, he looks great, man. Um, again, nothing I can really say that in, that and nobody else has already said he looks phenomenal True. and you, you want to pick it all up man yeah right and one thing for them. sure is that we did this impromptu uh live stream so thank you guys for watching hit the like button right now we're 62 likes let's get to 100 we are 105 people watching so i mean it's amazing um all i want to say is thank you guys um that's all we have for tonight don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow all my friends here channels Cisco Mafia, the Jedi Nice Watch, Local Lou, who is with Geeking Out, Brother Cassins, Fiber for Fast Figures, uh, Mass Toy Box, and of course, KG Collector. Have a good night, guys. And night, as always, be night. well. And see you I'm around sad. in the next video. Yeah, guys.